I believe as of now that is an upset pick, so that's one of my two upset picks. Moving on, we have Carolina beating Houston. Carolina is kind of my sleeper team this year. I don't take very many sleepers, but I think Carolina is being ignored because of what happened last year. However, um, I think that defense is going to be too much for the Houston. Just good enough, if you will, offense. And I don't think the Houston defense has what it takes to stop the playmakers on Carolina's offense. So Carolina will move to 2-0 and and be looking nice and pretty in that weak a uh, NFC South. Um... St. Louis will beat San Francisco. Um, last week was a very rough game for the Rams offensively, but I don't believe that's going to happen again. That's got to be, you know, the fact that Mark Bulger and Steven Jackson could both blow on the same day, that's almost a mathematical impossibility. And it happening two times in a row has got to be considered astronomical. So one of these guys is going to light it up against a suspect San Francisco defense. They are missing Orlando Pace for the season, and that does kind of turn me off what they're going to be able to do this year, um, if you look at what happened after last year, last year when Pace got hurt. But I don't think San Francisco's defense is good enough to take advantage to that point. And there's only one aspect of this game that I trust, and that is the Rams' offense. I don't trust the Rams' defense. I don't trust the 49ers' offense or defense. So there you go. Dallas will beat Miami. I'm calling another big game for Terrell Owens. It's going to be tough to run against the Miami defense. They got some great linemen and linebackers, but I don't trust their secondary one bit. So, um, if you think T.O. lit things up last week against New York, I think this is another one of those days where he's just going to be, you know, approaching the milestones that I have in my profile blurb thing. Um, and possibly Creighton or or Witten or whoever gets on the field. Another big day for Tony Romo, I think. Um, Seattle will beat Arizona. We're going down to um, Phoenix to play them. I'm pretty confident in this one as well. Arizona seems like, you know, it was just one game, but very disappointing. If you saw that, um, they gave it away at the end. Their defense does look good. We've been historically weak against the 3-4 defense. And Arizona's 3-4 is looking solid, but not spectacular yet. <coughs> um, I'm guessing Matt is going to put up pretty big numbers. I don't trust Sean so much against the 3-4 defense. He should be solid. But I think the passing game is going to have to pick up some slack, as it should be able to against a relatively weak secondary. Um, Minnesota will beat Detroit. This is a very tough game to call for me. Both teams... But I'm going to take Minnesota because I do trust their defense considerably more. Detroit will be likely incapable of running the ball. Admittedly, they usually are. But um, I think the Minnesota pass defense has improved. They won't be able to shut out the passing game of the Lions, which is potentially deadly. But they have enough players to take advantage of Kitna's mistake-prone nature. And when... Minnesota has the ball, I fully expect, all day. Adrian Peterson, a guy I'm really starting to like the more I watch him. I fully expect all day to um, just have a big day against a Lions defense that, again, I just don't trust beyond what they have on the defensive line. Um, and Tavares Jackson, actually, against that very weak secondary. Watch out. He could have his first real good game of his NFL career. Um, I t I'm taking Baltimore to beat the Jets. Um, I've heard that Chad Pennington is unlikely to play, but he's going to try his best. And I've heard that Ogden is out. I've heard Ray Lewis is in, and Steve McNair is questionable. Regardless of all that, I'm going to go with the Ravens. Their defense is going to be too much for Kellen Clemens, most definitely. If Clemens starts... They should probably cancel this game before it starts, almost. That's how confident I would be in Baltimore. Especially after what happened on uh, Monday. Yeah. If Pennington starts, things are a little different, but I believe Baltimore is a better team either way. Um, I think Baltimore is going to win pretty big here. Um, Oakland and Denver. I'm taking Denver, of course. Um, in past years, as I recall, Oakland's managed to keep it close against Denver, largely because Jake Plummer had a tough time dealing with the tough Oakland defense. 
I think Cutler is more confident than um, Plummer ever was, even at this point. Um, I trust him more than Plummer already. I never trusted Plummer at all. So he had one really good season and then whatever, right? Um, and I expect the Denver, um, excuse me, Denver defense to uh, get back on track in terms of stopping the run. And we all know it's nearly impossible to pass on them. Plus, um, I don't know who's going to start. Maybe it looks like Culpepper at this point, and we'll see how that works. I think he's going to be all right, though. Um, next game, Chicago will be Kansas City. I think it's going to be closer than some people think. I like the Chiefs' chances this year more than most people. It's become apparent to me after last week that they are a bad team, and I probably thought too much of them in the off season. But they have enough talent to make some things interesting here and there. I don't think this game is going to be as big of a blowout as some will think, but I'm confident Chicago will win with that, you know, dominant defense. And um, big game of this week, San Diego at New England. This is my other upset. I'm taking San Diego. Um, I think San Diego is just, you know, still seething over that playoff loss last year, which was really rough, a game they, I'm sure they felt they should have won. And could have won oh so easily. So in the regular season, when things don't matter nearly as much, I think New England loses to a superior team, pretty much. I mean, New England is not the kind of team that will beat better teams in the regular season. They come out in the postseason and will beat those superior teams by superior game planning and pre preparation. But in the regular season, I see San Diego as a superior team and I'm taking them. And plus, I'm suspecting, don't hold me to this, but I do have a slight suspicion that um, New England might be a little distracted by everything that happened this week, but we'll see. Final game, I'm taking Philadelphia over Washington. This is actually a little tougher than I thought because there's something wrong with that Philly offensive line. <clears throat> but then I look at the Redskins' defensive line. It's not very good. Andre Carter is a decent pass rusher. Cornelius Griffin is in okay defensive tackle. Beyond that, I don't really think they have anything, so they're going to have a tough time taking advantage. We all know Greg Williams loves to blitz, but I think that's going to give Donovan the chance to do what he couldn't do against Green Bay, uh, find the open receiver, send his deep threats deep. He has an awful lot of those, Reggie Brown and Kevin Curtis. There's some speedy guys that can go deep, and I think that overrated cornerback group of Sean Springs, Carlos Rogers, and Fred Smoot is going to be on their heels all game. And I don't trust Jason Campbell yet to handle the Philadelphia Blitz. We all know what Jim Johnson loves to do. I don't think Campbell can handle it. And, uh, well, that's about all I got in terms of picks. So, um, maybe I'll change a little something if an injury report drastically changes before Sunday, but... That sounds pretty final to me, so um, I'm out.